you need the strategist. You need the helper of helpers. You need the comforter. You need the strengthener. You need the one who will make your breakthroughs possible. I can pray as I pray for you. But the one who will make it to happen is the helper designate. The one who was assigned to be the helper of every Christian. Are you fighting some battles? Are there any victories you want? Are you fighting some battles? Holy Spirit guarantees your victories. He is your helper. With him on your side. With him in you. He will help your body to conquer that sickness. I say he will help your body to conquer that sickness attack. Because when the Holy Spirit or if the Holy Spirit lives on the inside of you and you have allowed your body to become his temple the Bible says when sickness attacks the Holy Spirit will revitalize the Holy Spirit will quicken your body or oh, say welcome Holy Spirit the first thing that needs to happen reconnect well with the Holy Spirit perceive him well Welcome him. Fully embrace him. Say welcome Holy Spirit. Listen. If you don't embrace him. It's your fault. God said he will give him to everyone. Are you one of those that are receiving him? The Bible says he will pour his spirit. upon all flesh. If you don't feel him. You don't benefit from him. It's not God's fault. Work on yourself. Lift up your hand. Say, Welcome, Holy Spirit. Can you see it there? God says it shall come to pass that I will pour my spirit. Ask you, are you a person? Please touch the person. Say, Are you a person? Are you sure you are a person? God has a big vision. It doesn't matter how powerful a position you may have politically or in the corporate. It doesn't matter how handsome, how beautiful, how mightily educated you are. You will never, never be truly, truly complete without the presence of God. Are you hearing me? We were created to be creatures that are occupied by divinity. Are you hearing me? If God blesses you with so much money, whatever blessing he gives you, it becomes an empowerment for you to function for his glory. God never gives anyone anything for that person. Whatever he blesses you with, he wants you to use it to give him benefit. Holy Spirit is for helping you to live a life that glorifies him. Lift up your right and say, Welcome. It's not a religion, are you understanding? It's a partnership between divinity and human. You will become the best of 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 the best human being. The moment you discipline yourself to live a life that is regulated by the Holy Spirit, you will become the best of the best of the best of the best because the Holy Spirit is the best of God. Are you hearing me, somebody? Holy Spirit is the best of God. So when he gives you the Holy Spirit, he has given you himself. The Lord God is the Holy Spirit. God is the best of the best. 
If you allow Holy Spirit to take charge, you will become the best of 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 the best ladies to walk on this earth. The best of men to walk on this earth. Because when Holy Spirit comes, He fixes every wrong that sin brought to your life. Correct your moral. He changes your behavior. He teaches you to live well with other people. He will become the best of the best of the best of the best. The moment you learn to embrace the Holy Spirit, it doesn't matter how low you may be in life, you may be in the low of the lowest. When the Holy Spirit comes, you begin to rise. You begin to rise in every area of your life. He even improves your health. He upgrades your intelligence. He's the spirit of wisdom. He removes all dampness. He's the spirit of wisdom. So when you get money, he blesses you with money. It wiser because you have the spirit of wisdom. Pray, pray. This is what is missing in the church. We are missing the influence of the one who's able to make us better people. The Holy Spirit. Every day you are crying. The Holy Spirit has come to terminate crying. He's the spirit of joy. Spirit of peace. So though problems are there, but you look at them with new eyes. Say greater is he that is in me than those that are attacking me. He changes your perception. You look at life different. I, 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 if I go people in the house, it's not a religion. It's a new packaging. It's not a religion. It's a new packaging. So that you become the best of the best of the best of the best. The best lady. The best guy. The best woman. The best man. The best student. The best child. Holy Spirit comes to make you the best girl. People who live with you. They experience God on earth. How? Because you lay hands on them. No. You are so good. You are so kind. You are so nice. Because God is nice. Do these following things from today. Number one. Believe that he is available for you. Don't think you don't qualify. You don't need to qualify yourself. Salvation qualifies all of us. So number one, believe that Holy Spirit is available for you. Meaning he's ready to start revealing and manifesting himself to you and for you. So what do you do? You say, welcome Holy Spirit. Say after me, say, welcome Holy Spirit. You don't need to feel anything now. Keep on saying, welcome, then you will feel something. Let's not make it drama. It's by faith. Are you understanding? 
The Bible says if we earthly fathers know how to give good gifts to, to our children. How much more the good father of heaven will give the Holy Spirit to those who ask. Say Father God thank you for the Holy Spirit. Thank you for availing him for my benefit. Thank you for sending him to come and be my help. Helper. I didn't hear you say thank you for sending him to come and be my personal help. Say thank you, Holy Spirit. Jehovah. Thank you, Jehovah. For sending Holy Spirit to be my help. The true helper. I welcome you, Holy Spirit. I welcome you, Holy Spirit. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Then you ask him yes, to reveal himself to you. It's prayer number two, right? First, you believe he's there for you. Number two is so crucial. I do that all the time. Ask him to reveal himself to you. The moment Holy Spirit reveals him, begins to reveal himself to you, you will become the wonder of the family. The wonder of your family. It's like a stupid prayer line. But it has potential to produce wonders for you. Ask Holy Spirit to reveal himself to you. Amen. 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 Number three, so ask him to teach you to depend on him. Because remember, the Holy Spirit matter is a new orientation for every human being. We are designed to create, to depend on ourselves. Amen. Number four, ask him to hijack you and influence you. Ask him to influence you every day. To stop you where he needs to stop you. Push you to do what you need to do. Ask him to influence you to push you to do what you need to do. Ask him to influence you. Say, Holy Spirit, come. Ask him to influence you. Ask him to influence you. Ask him to Say, Holy Spirit, come upon me. Holy Spirit, influence me. Holy Spirit, never leave me to continue to ring, live my life the wrong way. Influence me. Hallelujah. Amen. Number five. Holy Spirit, teach me to pray. Pray through me. Pray in me. Pray by me. Holy Spirit, teach me to pray. Ah, this one is, is, is amazing. Holy Spirit, teach me to pray. Remember, God wants you to pray. Jesus said people must pray and never get, get tired. So if you say, Holy Spirit, teach me to pray, you are touching a part that He really wants you to do. Holy Spirit, teach me to pray. Pray through me. Pray in me. Pray by me. Pray with me. When I pray, may I pray together with you. Pray through me. Let it not just be me praying from my mind and my mouth, but pray through me from my spirit. Pray through me from my spirit. Are you writing that one? The prayers that I need to pray must always rise from my spirit. Because it's prayers that are prayed by the Holy Spirit with my spirit. Pray with me. Pray through me. Pray by me. Pray with me. Pray through me. Teach me to pray. Finally, Holy Spirit, never stop to change me until I become everything God wants me to be. Ah. If we can fast and just pray the last one, never stop to change me. Never stop changing me. I don't want to be a living and a walking confusion. 
A confusion that wears clothes. A confusion that wears shoes. Holy Spirit, may I never be a walking confusion. Laughing stock for everyone. While you are here, Holy Spirit. Rise to your feet. Holy Spirit. Make me God's champion. In my lifetime. Thank you, Jesus.